Two weeks into the school year and a local middle school in Bastrop ISD is seeing quite a change when it comes to student behavior. It's a combination of new technology and some big prizes. KXAN education reporter Aaron Cargyle has the story from Cedar Creek Middle School. So if you're at your table working on the bell ringer and you have an ID, I'm going to come by and give you a hero point. There is a lot more incentive these days. All right, how are we doing over here, boys? To follow the rules in class. Are you going to have y'all's IDs with y'all? Thank y'all for being on task. Teachers are armed with an app on their phones. Hey, Michael and Jasmine, thank you for helping out. Let me go ahead and give you some points. And running into the principal isn't a bad thing. We will spending 80% um, of our time dealing with the 20% of the kids that exhibit the negative behavior. So we wanted to change that. Students caught doing good are racking up what's called hero points. Today I got one for being uh, respectful, like being quiet in lunch. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to change anything. I was like, oh, it's just a little program. But Jasmine Martinez was wrong. Last year you would see like kids acting out, but after Hero and after it was introduced, like kids were like, ooh, I'm going to get points. Ooh, I want to go to the store. That's where all the points pay off. The more you earn, the bigger the prize. But this year they've stepped up our game. Pizza parties, hallway DJs, even a Kindle Fire is up for grabs. I think that by providing these positive incentives, encourages them to do the right thing. Okay, let me get you your hero point. Not only are teachers seeing a difference, they are feeling it too. It's easy for teachers to dwell on the things that went bad that day, but when we have to shift our focus to be on the positive, it helps the teacher too. We feel better. In Cedar Creek, Erin Cargyle. Welcome to class today. KXAN News. The Student Behavior Management Program is called HERO, as Erin mentioned, and Bastrop Middle School also started using it this year. It's costing the district $6,500 a year for each campus.